Archangel Michael, the Five Kingdoms Dimensions, for this round of Earthly Ascension. Transmitted through Rana Herman, March, 2016. Archangel Michael. Beloved Masters, everything in the universe is endowed with a consciousness of its own kind and on its own plane of perception. Remember, all creation, the Omniverse at all levels is cosmic energy, which was sent forth from the heart core of the Supreme Creator. This energy is composed of vibrational frequencies of infinite variations, which interpenetrate with each other, and yet are separated from each other by the variance in light frequency patterns. The light energy of the Creator contains all the components of creation, and these innumerable seated patterns of light make up the complexity of the many levels of material manifestation. The terms used to describe the multiple levels of creation, such as dimensions and subdimensions, were established to bring clarity and understanding of the very complex nature of the reality in which you all exist. As most of you are aware, each dimension within your earthly etheric environment has seven sub-levels. Third and fourth dimensions, duality, energy, plus matter, positive active, negative receptive, fifth dimension, triplicity, duality, plus spirit plus matter, equals harmonious matter, first dimension, mineral kingdom. First dimension and lower sublevels of second dimension. The mineral and vegetable kingdoms are ruled strictly by instinct, and they are infused with God light life via the Divic and elemental kingdoms. The first dimensional environment is the world of the elements, the building blocks of the material world from the subatomic elements to the soil, rocks, and water that make up the body of the earth. This is the foundation for the manifestation of all plant life, and home of the lowest level of the elemental kingdom whose mission it is to relay from the sun the life-giving elements or nourishment for all of the mineral and plant kingdoms. Under the guidance of the elemental kingdom, the plant kingdom also began to experience an instinctual desire to reach for the sunlight and bask in the warmth of its radiance. Second Dimension, Flora and Fauna, Plant and Animal Kingdom The mid-second dimensional level is where the animal kingdom materialized and a sub-level of consciousness began. Originally, the animal kingdom subsisted and received sustenance from plant life, it was never intended that they should become carnivorous. Basic feelings and emotions began to be displayed within the second dimensional environment, as the animal kingdom evolved and began to experience primal fear, anger, and instinctual love or compatibility with a strong desire for companionship. The animal kingdom is strongly influenced by inborn instinct. The animal's sparks come from and return to a group soul in between each incarnation. Third Dimension Since humanity's fall in consciousness many thousand years ago, the Earth and its physical environment have been composed of third and fourth dimensional components. The third dimension consists of length, breadth, and depth of space. The sentient beings of this dimension are the more evolved animal kingdom, group consciousness, and human beings, which have individualized soul consciousness. Third Kingdom, Third Dimension, First Three Subplanes Animal, Nature Kingdom, Higher Conscious Species of Animal Kingdom, Instinctual and Subconscious. First Three Levels of the Third Dimension, Animals who are gradually evolving into a higher species, and who have developed a limited sentient intelligence, are within this range of intelligence, such as primates, apes and monkeys, elephants, horses, dogs, and cats. In some future stage of the ascension process, they will be ensouled, and will be allotted an individualized I am consciousness. There are also some humans, very young souls, who obtained their individualized I am consciousness within a more recent round of evolution. Their first incarnational experiences have been in this solar system or on the earth plane, and they are, therefore, still functioning within an animal human base instinctual nature along with a varying degree of intellectual capacity. These souls are the true earthlings. There are no longer any young or early mature souls being incarnated on the earth plane. Only mature and old souls who have had a vast number of incarnational experiences throughout this universe, and quite possibly in other universes as well, are incarnating on earth now. Third Dimension, Subplanes 4 through 7, Human Kingdom the third dimensional realm of material expression is more mentally focused, with a strong desire to create, conquer, and to control nature. It is the lowest level of humankind's experiential existence. A basic, instinctual survival nature began to develop with a gradual limited consciousness of self. 
I am separate and different from you. Human beings began to emerge from a herd state of consciousness, where there were seldom any unique or individualized thoughts. Most knowledge came forth from the group instinctual nature and basic concepts handed down from the elders. Fourth Kingdom, Fourth Dimensional Human Kingdom, Subconscious and Conscious Awareness. In the fourth dimension a conscious awareness of the now moment is added to length, breadth, and depth of space. The fourth dimension is the realm of emotions, Maya illusion, the astral plane. Since it is the beginning stage of higher frequency patterns, time is more fluid, and the laws of time and space begin to change. It is sometimes called the etheric realm. You must pass through the mass consciousness belief structure which is mostly comprised of a conglomeration of inharmonious third and fourth dimensional vibrations. It is your responsibility to clear or neutralize your personal discordant vibrational frequencies in order to traverse the seven sub-levels of the fourth dimensional environment, and to tap into an awareness of your I am, within the fifth dimensional environment. Fourth Kingdom Subplanes, 1 through 3, Human Kingdom Human beings within this stage of evolvement are still using some of their animal instinctual nature along with the subconscious, conscious human nature. Subplanes 4 through 7, the beginning of the development of a human spiritual nature. Whales and dolphins are a special unique species which does not fit within any of the evolutionary profiles that we are presenting to you for your greater understanding. They are considered to be the most spiritually and intellectually advanced species on Earth. As the earth was created for human inhabitation, these wondrous beings of light were sent forth from far distant star systems as keepers of the divine consciousness, for the human species. They are the recorders of the enlightened, and also the diminished consciousness of all life forms from the beginning of this sub-universal experience, not only in this realm, but also in many other realms within this sub-universe. They embody the recorded history of Earth, all planets, solar systems, and galaxies, and they constantly bring forth reverberating frequencies of light and advanced information. Wisdom teachings of the past from some of the enlightened conveyors of dolphin and whale wisdom have brought forth much information, regarding these powerful servers of the light. The dolphins and whales facilitate the weaving of energy matrices of crystalline consciousness throughout the planet. This allows humans who are vibrationally receptive and spiritually ready to embody the deeper infusions of pure love throughout their cellular structure, and to experience deeper, more refined levels of telepathic communication. They represent all beings on the earth, and their mission and their glory are to hold the entire earth in a liquid auric field of greater love. They send the tones of love through the waters, and deep into the earth, as well as to all humanity in order to keep the evolution of consciousness on the earth moving according to the greater plan. They are not as they appear to be in form. They are great magnificent beings whom we admire, and if we are receptive, we will feel their loving energy as they continually patrol the oceans spreading our Father Mother God's frequencies of love, harmony, and grace. Fifth Kingdom, Fifth Dimensional Spiritual Human Nature, First Subplane of the Fifth Dimension Integration of all third and fourth dimensional soul fragments has been accomplished. Therefore, the soul-infused personality is released from the wheel of karma. Gradual development of conscious and superconscious, intuitive awareness, the beginning phase of sacred triadal consciousness. Fifth dimension, mental plane of consciousness, sacred triad, three god rays, one. Spiritual willpower, cosmic energy, two. Love intuition wisdom, 3. Co-creative active intelligence, knowledge, ego desire body, instinct, lower mind, third dimension, emotional body, imagination, conscious mind, lower fourth dimension, soul consciousness, intuition, sacred mind, mid fourth dimension, soul infused personality, illumination sacred triad, first level fifth dimension. For your better understanding, we will give you an energy field of consciousness, for each dimension, an arbitrary designation of what we are calling, watts of GSALP. Energy Fields of Conscious Awareness God Seed Atom Light Power First Dimension, 1000 to 1999 watts GSALP, God Seed Atom Light Power Second Dimension, 2000 to 2999 watts GSALP Third Dimension, 
3000 to 3999 watts GSALP. Fourth dimension, 4000 to 4999 watts GSALP. Fifth dimension, 5000 to 5999 watts GSALP. Frequency levels of consciousness. First and second dimensions, 1000 to 2500 watts GSALP. Higher sublevels of the second dimension and the first three sublevels of the third dimension, 2500 to 3300 watts of GSALP. Prevailing negative attributes to overcome. Third dimension, from 3000 to 3999 watts of God Seed Atom Light Power. From lowest levels to highest. Survival instinct, fear, anger, vengeful, hate, despising, shame, guilt, denying, uncaring, apathy, stubborn, miserable, indifferent, permitting, enabling, herd state, confused, rigid thinking process, fearful of change, complacent, fearful of the forces of nature and the elements. Fourth dimension, from 4000 to 4999 watts of God seed light power. First through third sublevels, miserable, self-serving, confrontational, craving, flame, despair, anxiety, lethargic, humiliation, hopeless, grief, demanding, withdrawal, destructive, judgmental, stubborn, infatuation, authoritative, dogmatic, extreme, frivolous, vain, see glamour, possessive, boredom, materialistic, strong belief in good luck, fate, and punishment, willing to go with the flow, caught up in mass consciousness belief system. I, me, my focus. Negative attributes to harmonize and positive attributes to integrate. Fourth sublevel, bridge to higher consciousness, plotting, frustration, discontent, doubt, regret, permitting, enabling, pessimistic, neutrality, worry, discouraged, unworthiness, some objectivity, learning to forgive, understanding, hopeful, optimistic, desire, learning discipline, begin to turn inward, seeking. Trust, insightful, helpful, generous, expanding self-awareness. Fourth dimension, fifth through seventh sublevels. Patient, expressive, creative, disciplined, seeks solitude, compassionate, merciful, harmonious, serene, trusting, courage, empowerment, optimism, reverence, loving, joyful, bliss, intuitive, gracious, thankful, altruistic. Desire to serve, truthful, grateful, developing unity consciousness. Most of you who have followed our teachings are aware that you must clear 51% of your negative frequency patterns, and attune to your soul song to at least a portion of the lower sublevel frequencies of the fifth dimension, in order to begin to receive the adamantine particles of Creator Light. In doing so, you gain the ability to breathe in this essence of rarefied light containing the refined vibrational frequencies of the higher realms. You, while in your physical vessel, are being given an opportunity to incorporate the divine essence of the new age, which is permeating the earth at this time. There is no firm demarcation between dimensions, for they ebb and flow in a wave pattern and interpenetrate each other to a certain degree. Much of humanity is now resonating to the frequencies of the higher, more harmonious frequencies of the third dimension, while tapping into and integrating various levels of the fourth dimension. Many dedicated souls are beginning to access some of the frequency patterns of the lower sublevels of the fifth dimension, and there are even some more advanced souls who are integrating small amounts of sixth dimensional frequency patterns, and even higher, via the cities of light. Beloveds, we know some of the concepts we relay to you can be very confusing. However, as you expand in consciousness and wisdom, your sacred mind will open to the wellspring of knowledge you have in reserve, and you will remember and understand. I am with you always. I am Archangel Michael.